Hello, welcome to the Robotics for Kids tutorial. My name is Emerike Adeze. I'm a STEM education facilitator and I'll be your guide through this video. Hello guys, today we'll be learning how to animate a name. It means we're going to pick a name, whatever name we'll pick. We'll be adding some graphical effects like changing up the colors, adding sound to it, adding movements and the rest of it. So the first thing we'll do is to decide on the name we we'll want to use. I'll be using a name with three letters in it. First of all, let me take out the sprite. Now to select the letters in the name that I want, I'll come over to this section, I'll click on this, choose a sprite to select the letters. I'll click on letters, it's over here. If you don't have letters, you can just come over to the search button and type in letters. And you have a vast array of letters. So I'll just scroll down and pick from whichever design I like. So I'll go for this. I'll be using May M. I pick A. And then the last letter Y. So this is the name I'll be animating today. So this is just to arrange them, arrange the letters so that you can read the name properly. Here we have me. And to proceed to add designs to these letters, we'll have to make sure that any letter we want to code for is properly highlighted and it's displaying here. So if we want to write a code for A, for A to change color, we have to click on A and make sure A is highlighted here. If the code is supposed to do something for Y, we'll make sure that Y is clicked before writing the code. So that we don't write the code on M and expect Y to display whatever outcome that code is supposed to have. So now we'll start with M. The first thing I want to do is to make M change color. So, I'll select an event. The event is that when I click on this flag, I want M, the color of M, to change. So I'll go over to looks and I'll select this code that says change color effect by 25. So I'll click on this flag now. Let's see if M will change its color. So you see, there is a little change. The, this, this color of green and this, they aren't the same. So if I want M to change color again, let's click on this and see what happens. You see, there is no change. So I have to change the value inside here for M to change color again. And now it's almost purple or blue. If I want M to change color constantly, um, not just once and then stop, what do I do? I go to this section of the code that says control. I can take any block of code here that would support what I want. It could be repeat this change color 10 times. So let me change this back to 25. Change color effects by 25. It will repeat it 10 times. M will change its color 10 times. So let's run it and see what will happen. Okay. You, that was quick yeah. but then I want something something much more continuous so I'll take this out take this out I'll drop back this code and pick forever I want the color effect to continue until the entire code is done so let me click on this here yeah. Now we have M popping out different colors, displaying several colors. I am going to repeat this same block of code for A and Y. It might just take a lot of your time for you to click on A and type out the same thing, click on Y, 
and type out the same thing so what we're going to do is just the code is already highlighted i'll just drag it come to a you, you see that the section that has a is shaking so i'll drop the code there now a has the same code as m i'll do the same thing for y i'll highlight this come to y if it shakes i'll drop the code there now y has the same code all three of them now contain the code to change its color effect let me run the code again here you have all three letters changing its color effect so what next should we do i would like y to increase in size let me give it a code that will make it increase in size let's see how that works i'll go to event again select my event when i click this flag i want the size of y to increase i'll go to looks and i'll say i'll pick the code that says change size by 10. let's run this and see 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 and then y, uh, m just keeps increasing in size and it doesn't go back to its normal size that is not what i want let's make m increase in size and then return back to its original size so i'll just do this temporarily i'll change it to the original size 100 then let's write the code that will make m increase in size and return back to its original size We'll pick this code that says change size by 10. Now, if you add to something 10 times, that thing is 10 times bigger, right? To make that thing go back to its original size, you have to take out from it 10 times again. So what we'll do here, I'll change this value to 20. And then over here, for it to return back to its original size, we'll have to take out from it 20 times that is minus 20 so we could say change size by 20 then change size by minus 20 see that's not working because there is no control structure now we'll add the control structure So you should repeat this 10 times and then repeat this 10 times too. Now let's try it out. Yeah. Here. We have our M moving. That's increased and decreased. We'll share this code now as we did for the previous one. We'll share it to A. A. Uh, A has it, it's hidden. Be careful because this bar is actually. Okay, let me do this. Yeah. Now we have it for A. Uh, let's share the code to Y as well. Here, yeah, Y has tilted, and now Y has it. So all three letters now contain the block of code that will make its color change and increase it in size as well so let's run it and see yeah all three are popping at the same time and it looks it looks a bit messy we can add a time factor to regulate which one comes first and which one comes next so if m goes first a should wait so let's go to control okay control is here already we'll select this code that says wait and then we'll attach it here let's make it wait for half a second 0 0.5 seconds and then for y let's make it wait wait for a complete second for one second now let's see the outcome yes this is much better there is something else you can do. You can come over here and add backgrounds. 
I love to go with the patterns. I'll select this. I can go back again, select more. I'll pick the stars. Let me take one more. Let me pick the sloops. Now we have three backgrounds, three back backdrops plus the original one, making it four. What again can we do to make May more lively? Let's add music. Let's add sound. So we'll come to events and select when flag is clicked. Sorry. Let me highlight M and write this code for M. When flag is clicked, you should go to sound, play sound until done. Now we don't have a lot of sounds in this collection, so we'll come over here to add sound. We'll click on this. You have several notes here that you can select from. <laughs> so many of them. Usually I just go to loops and you highlight this to hear it play. I'll go with this. I like this. And let me see if I can take one more. I think I'll just take this. So I have two sounds here. I'll go back to my code. I'll click on this drop down here. Yeah, these are the two sounds I just added. So I'll select dance head node and then I'll click on the flag to see what happens. Mm. Now that looks more interesting. Let's add one more sprite. And here. Um, I'll be going for a star. I'll go for this. I have my star here. Let me take this off. Take this off. And take this off. I have my star just here. I think this looks better. Now for the star. I would like the star to also change color as well. So go to events, click on this, and go to looks, select change color effect by 25. Go to the controls and select forever. So let's see. <laughs> Now you noticed that the song, the music or the sound is actually longer than the effects we've created. How about we make these letters pop twice? Like we make M pop first, A, Y, then after Y, M goes again, A and Y again. All we need to do is actually to come to the code that makes it increase in size and add this control structure that would repeat the same thing it has done before you see i'll drop it here and i'll change the number of times it will repeat i'll change that to two and because m has to go once a next and y before m goes again we will calculate the number of time how long it takes for one round for all the letters to go one round for the first round and then add it here to make M wait before it repeats the second round. Now let me show you what I mean. We'll click on this that would make M wait. We'll drop the code here. M will execute this code and wait for a certain number of time before it will repeat its effect again. If it takes A 0.5 seconds to start 
and it takes y one second to start we'll add up all the time it takes all of them to execute their first round of effects and then for m we'll change the number of time it has to wait to four seconds literally it takes two seconds to run through this so we'll just add an extra two we'll change this value to four let's try this and see if m will execute the code we've written here as we want it okay that looks cool but then we want m a and y to be able to all participate in the second round so this value goes back to two and for a we'll add the control structure that repeats this code and we'll add weights we'll change this to 2.5 let's see if that will work and for y we'll do the same repeat there is no need adding anything again okay so let's run this oh. i said the mistake with y now y has to wait actually <laughs> before it starts repeating it will wait for three seconds so let's work that out So the size of y, let's change it back to the original, which is 100. And for a, let's take it back to the original, which is 100. So this code has to stop. Now that all the codes have executed for the letters, let's make the star pop the last. So we'll highlight the star. And here we'll say event when flag is clicked. We want you to change. Okay, I'm gonna take two of this. I need it. We want you to change your size by 20 as well. And change your size again. By minus 20 so that you can return back to the original size and there is something else I want to note in why once it has executed this two times we should remember to tell it to stop the script once it has executed it twice stop the script stop this particular script for a we have to do the same after stop the scripts and for y just to stop them from repeating the same thing over and over again sorry stop the scripts And then the star will actually have to wait for four seconds in total before it will execute its own effect here four seconds because it took all of these two seconds per round that means after four seconds they must have gone two times each then the star can now pop so we'll change this to four now let's try this code oh here is my mystic it should have repeated twice not ten times and for this twice not ten times 
let me go through it again yes repeat the entire code two times repeat twice repeat twice yes that's the mistake let's try it again <laughs> Now the timing for the star, we'll have to tweak this a little to four, let's make it five seconds, let's see. Yeah, that's a little better, it's much better. Now there is one more thing we need to do. Okay, um, I remember now I added a lot of backgrounds, about three of them, in plus the original one, four. So now let's code for the backgrounds as well. Here, the background is highlighted. What would I want to happen to the background? If I click on this flag, I'd like the background to change. next backdrop we want to see a different backdrop for each time we click on this flag so let's try it again So I think that works. Let me rearrange this a little. Let's try it again. how easy it is to actually animate a name i would advise that you guys try this pick any name of your choice uh, maybe a three or four letter worded name and add whatever effects you feel like you can choose any other sprite you want to include choose whatever backdrop you feel okay with add whatever sound you're most comfortable with just do something different whatever sound suits your musical taste and let's see what your result would be so that's the end of animating a name today i'll catch you guys next time